want to train state-of-art text classification model with only few samples, you can do it in Spacey. In the next 5 minutes you will learn how to do that. All what you need for that is terminal which on the left right here and python installed on it. And also code editor, I will use Atom. Step number 1. Install Spacey and SetFit Python models. What is SetFit? It is a new Python model, an efficient and prompt free framework for a few short fine tuning of sentence transformers. It achieves high accuracy with little labeled data. So we need to install these two models right here in the terminal. pip install Spacey and Spacey SetFit. Now installing. And that's it, we have Spacey and Spacey SetFit successfully installed on the machine. Step number 2. Install English Spacey model that we can use as a base model for fine tuning. We are using the smaller version in this tutorial. So Python 3 minus M Spacey download English Core Web Small. Download and installation successful. Now you can load the package via spacey.load and passing the model name. That we will do in the Python code shortly. So the next step, step number 3. Set up a Python file where we will implement everything. So for this touch my nlp underscore spacey.pi, it is a file name for our Python code. Here is our file, let's open it with our code editor. The first step in the code is to import Spacey and uh, Spacey SetFit. That I'm doing with these two lines of code. Very good. We can check if these models are working properly. For that just quickly run our Python file from the terminal. So Python 3 and our file name. Perfect, no errors. Our next step, create some example data. For this we create a new variable named train dataset. It is a dictionary type variable that will store our small training data. We need to specify two types of sample list. Here is inlier, it will be a list of inlier samples and outlier as another list. So for inlier you can specify your data that the base model will learn from that. For example, I specify sentences like this. This text is about chairs, coaches, benches and television. And the last one, I really need to get new sofa. So these three sentences representing in liar. This is what is good class for my model. So now outlier. For outlier I specify these sentences. Text about kitchen equipment. This text is about politics. Comments about AI and stuff. So again, in training dataset we should specify inlier samples which represent the good class and outlier which represent the bad class for our NLP model. We can quickly run our python file to be sure that there is no error. Perfect, no error and we can move forward. Next step load the spacey language model. As I mentioned before, we need to use a base model for fine tune. So we load spacey english model, version small that we downloaded previously. Variable nlp will be responsible for that. Again, we can run our python file to be sure that our model is ready for working. No errors, perfect. Next step. Add the text categorizer pipeline component to the spacey model and configure it with setfit parameter. Shortly we will combine spacey base model and setfit functionality to use our train samples on the top. So we have NLP variable which represent the base spacey model. Then we add some functionality into this by using add pipe method. Here we specifying that we want to create a text categorizer. Then in the config part we should tell that we are using pretrain model name or path 
and in our case it is paraphrase mini lm l3 version number two this is a sentence transformers model it maps sentences and paragraphs to a 384 dimensional dense vector space and can be used for tasks like clustering or semantic search Additionally, we need to specify set fit trainer arguments. It is extra dictionary inside config part. So here we need to tell the model that we gonna use our custom training samples to fine tune the base model. And it is train dataset variable from here. Perfect. So here is our model setup, which works on the base spacey model, uses sentence transformers and learns more from our custom data. We can test everything what we do so far. As always, let's run our Python file one more time. Perfect, everything what we have wrote is correct. You can see that the pipeline has 15 iterations, one epoch and one batch of the data. So finally, we can test our model on unseen data. Let's do this. This doc variable will store the user request. It references to document. For example, you enter this sentence. I really need to get a new sofa. And here I print my query and the results. Document itself and result from the model by passing document sentence. Fine, let's run the file and see the results. As you can see, our model recognized this sentence as in liar. Almost 94% that this sentence is in liar, the good class. And only 6% that it is outlier. Perfect. Okay, let's play more. Let's change the sentence to I want to be strong politic. Let's check how our result will change. Here you go. This sentence is totally outlier with 81%. So that's it I wanted to show with this tutorial. I hope that this simple tutorial gave you some new knowledge or anyway, you had some fun. Let's meet in our data science garage videos. The code is in the repository. The link is in the description. Bye bye.